Hey guys, how's it going? It's a pocket. In this video, I'm gonna do a review of a software named HD Video Converter Factory Pro. So let's get started. HD Video Converter Factory Pro is a software used to compress large video files into smaller and also convert them to different formats. So, for example, from MP4 to AVI or MOV file, which is for QuickTime. Unfortunately, this software is only available with Windows. 10, 8.1, 8, 7 Vista and XP. Fortunately, it's not available for Mac OS. It's available for free to download, but if you want to unlock all of its features, you need to go ahead and buy it. Now moving on in some of its features, as you can see, it can convert all of these formats into others and it accepts all of these resolutions, including 4K, which is very surprising because not many video converters support 4K, basically not yet. It also contains all of these features, including lossless, which is very surprising. Not many video converter uh, software have it. It does not remove any kind of data from the video to be compressed, meaning that you can decompress the video after you have compressed it back to its original format. Next, as you can see, it can compress files very fast. As you can see, the normal compression is usually up to one hour, depending on the uh, file size and its length. Where the software can done it can be can compress it within a couple of minutes. 5 minutes, 10 minutes usually. It's a very good software, I have tested it and I have seen very good results. And also some other very important features such as supporting 60 frames per second or you can compress multiple files in one go. So for example you, you can compress three videos at the same time to save a lot of time. That was a brief look of the software, so now let's go ahead and see how this application actually works. So this is how the application looks like at first glance. So what we're going to do is to just go through and, and see how all these features work and how you can use them to compress your own video. So as always, your first move is going to drag this video and drop it in. And as you can see, this is how it looks like once you drop in. Let's go ahead and optimize the compress settings to see how all of this works. So the left hand side, as you can see, these are all the settings which have to do with the compression settings and stuff like that. Such as resolution, uh, choosing the correct format, at the bottom is where your files are saved and whether you want to merge two videos or multiple videos files. On the top is obviously the main menu, such as adding files. You can also upload and of course clear whatever is on the screen. So let's go ahead and talk about the settings, which I believe is the most important. So from here you can go ahead and choose whichever format you would like to compress. So you also have the video formats, which are over here. You have web formats, which are um, where you can compress the video into compatible with YouTube or Vimeo, Facebook, Yahoo or all of these um, social media and also you can compress a video which is compatible with HTML5 so if you are a website developer this will be very useful for you also you got uh, high definition videos such as 4K, Full HD and also audio you can convert the video into audio so for example if you have a music video and you want to convert it into audio this will be an option that you have to look at and of course some other uh, formats from other very popular companies including Microsoft, Lenovo, Google, Huawei and etc etc. So I'm gonna stick with AVI for this purpose of this video and I'm gonna set the resolution to to for 400, 480p because the resolution of this video is not very high because again, if I increase the resolution, the video is not going to have a higher resolution on what it has already. Because that is actually practically impossible. Next, we've got settings. So you can choose choose the, the encoder. So for example, you got XVID, DIVX or H264. I'm going to stick with SmartFit. Also have the bitrate, which is the amount of pixel processed per unit time, which is per second. So for example... Uh, you have 20 kilobits per second. This uh, this is 20 kilobits, which are being processed per unit per second in the video format. Aspect ratio. This is the ratio of the screen. Lossless mode. You have the option to make the conversion possible to decompress the video after you have compressed it. Resolution, and also you got frame rate, which is the amount of frames per second. As you can see, it's up to 60 frames per second. Very important. I'm gonna stick with 30, 30 frames per second in this case. So audio, you got, you got channels, so like uh, mono and stereo audio encoder. So you have encoders such as MP3, 
gonna stick with smart fit for now. Bit rate is the amount of bits processed in the sound per unit of time, which is per second. So the higher the, the bit rate, the better quality the sound will be, but the more space will take up to store the video file. So we're gonna stick with 192. And of course, lastly, you got the sample rate, which is the amount of samples per second. So the higher the, the frequency, the better the quality is, but again, the more space is going to take to, to store. Probably going to increase the sound as well. This is actually boosting the sound of the video. So I will be pretty comfortable with 150% of its original sound. Next, I'm going to click OK. And we're done with the settings. Next, we're going to have a look on the little video editor software comes with it. So we're going to have a look on a clip, how to create a clip of the, from this video. So if you're familiar with video editors, it will be pretty, pretty easy to learn and use. So we're gonna so we're gonna keep the video from here. There, this will be a well, start, and also the end point will be here. So start and end. So we're gonna click OK. Next, we got the choice to crop the uh, video file. So so here, so for example, you can rotate the file if you really want to, left or right, and rotate up or down, and rotate it three uh, ninety degrees to the left or to the right, and of course crop it on whatever you want. But in this case, I'm not going to crop the file because there is, n there is no reason in this case, but you can always crop it, position the crop, and only the part of the video within the square is going to be compressed. So I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to do uh, to save any the changes. And of course, you've got the, the option to add an effect. So you've got multiple effects that you can add. So remember the right window, preview the effect, and the left one is just the original video. So you can keep uh, choose, keep looking at these effects and you can choose the, your favorite one. I'm going to stick with known because they really want to add an effect right now. But you can always choose your favorite one. So I'm going to click on cancel. And next I'm going to do the last feature of the software to combine multiple videos together. So I'm going to use the other video I have here which is quite similar. And this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on merge and I'm going to merge those video files together. First is going to be the file that, the video file that we have been working with and the second one is the video that I just added. I'm going to click OK and the settings is going to be the same for both videos. So merging, it merges the, the, the two videos together into one and now which this is the one video cutting the two merged videos together and we're going to compress this pack of the two videos merged together by clicking on run and we're going to do the Resolution to uh, 480p. I'm gonna click on run. And after it's finished, you're gonna have a small message here saying that it's, it has been finished. So now we're gonna have a look on the exported video. So this is a video that we just done. So this is how the video looks like right now. So this is from FX Guru. So you can download this app from free from from Google Play Store and App Store. So as you can see, this is how the video looks like after we compress it. Those two videos that we used are compressed into one. And that's it. So you can always go through and add multiple videos, crop them together and compress them as like using a video editor, but a very, very basic video editor because again, this is not a video editor, but more a video converter. And of course, if you have multiple large videos that you want to convert, you can always convert multiple videos so you can save more time doing that. And that's it. So that brings you to the end of the video. So that was a video for the day, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like button, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about the software, share this video to your friends, and if you're new visitor to this channel, make sure to subscribe to, to get notified to the latest videos uploaded. And as always, thanks for watching.